What's up, everybody? The CEO, the money maker, the one and only storm taker, baby. And I'm back with another mother loving video, guys. And for this video, guys, we got facts about every single elixir troop. Guys, shout out to Havoc Gaming. He's one of my favorite YouTubers, and this is where I got this idea from, guys. Scour the globe and find my own little facts about every single purple bleeding elixir troop, guys. So make sure you smash that like button and go check out Havoc's channel. Without further ado, let's jump on into the video. So starting off first, we got the Barbarian. And the fun fact about the Barbarian is that the level 6 helmet greatly resembles the Iron Helmet from the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, which is one of the most iconic helmet in gaming history. It is also worn by the last Dragonborn in Skyrim uh, on the trailer, guys. Number two, we got the Archers. Archers are on nearly every single loading screen. Don't believe me? Put your finger in your... Number three, we got Giants. Giants previously would fish bump uh, when you click on the army camp as an interaction. They no longer possess this animation, and this animation was then reattributed to the Electro Titans. Goblins, strangely, goblins do more damage to other buildings than barbarians, despite barbarians having swords. Wall breakers. If there are no walls and you deploy a wall breaker, it will run to the nearest building, blowing itself up. However, it will do much less damage compared to what it does against walls. Also, a fun fact, guys, wall breakers do the most damage out of any single elixir troop when it comes on the walls. Um, balloons, somewhat iconic. But note that balloons are promoted wall breakers, as you can see in Clasherama episodes, guys. Do check out the Clasherama series if you are a Clash of Clans fan. Wizards. In the application package of the game, the wizard sound effect is referred to as the mage, guys. Healers. In the Chinese language setting of the game, the healer is called an angel, which is why the unit resembles an angel when looking at the healer, guys. We got dragons. The purple dragon icon uh, shown in the, in the barracks, guys, is actually a level 2 dragon. This changes when you upgrade your dragons from green or level 1 to level 2, which is purple after upgrading, matching the image in the barracks. Pekkas. The Pekka is the Lexer troop to have the highest DPS and the highest hit points, although wall breakers deal the highest damage to its preferred target, which is the walls. Baby dragons. The baby dragon's hands and feet are red in the info pay in the info image, but aren't in battle. I never knew this one either, guys. But miners. Despite Barrowing underground when attacking, he will not barrow underground while moving inside the army camp, guys. Um, yetis. The Yeti is the only elixir troop that can spawn other units, aka Yeti mites, excluding super troops. Dragon Rider is one of the three vehicle troops that are manned by wall breaker like skeletons. The others are balloons and rocket balloon. Electro Titan, she harbors some resemblance to Storm from X-Men, uh, the Marvel comics. And finally, Root Rider, her ability to destroy walls was inspired by the Mountain Golem's crush ability, which instantly crushes walls upon contact, guys. Uh, guys, we're going to be doing part two of this video, which is include facts about every single Dark Elixir troop. Be on the lookout for that video, and peace out, baby. I did be mobbing, bitch, we came up from the bottom Can't even say the trenches, I